Welcome or welcome back to the Building Belmont podcast. If we haven't met before, my name is Keanu, friend, neighbor, citizen, and also a business owner in this community. Several years ago, over five years ago, my wife and I moved to this community and we fell in love with the people, what it had to offer, and the way that it really takes you in. And I wanted to, in some small way, support that effort to connect people, ultimately bringing people together. They don't have to like each other. They don't have to leave as friends, but connecting people. That was the catalyst for this platform. So if you haven't yet, we've interviewed several business owners in the community, got to capture their stories, go back and listen to some of our episodes. But in this season right now, leading into the November election, our local leadership landscape has the potential to change drastically and change not necessarily being a bad thing but there are four city council seats that are technically up for election and our mayoral seat is up for election given our former mayor charlie martin resigned his seat early due to health issues thank you for your service charlie but with that being said we have current city council member that is running for mayor if they are elected to mayor their seat has to be filled there are three city council members that their seat is up up for re-election. Some of them are running for their seat again. Others are moving on. And we have local leaders that want to step up to the plate to lead. So you see, it's very important to get the community involved so you know that you are represented by your local leadership in the issues that you want to address and ultimately the community that you want to raise your family or grow your business in. So in this season, we have partnered with other great organizations to host a forum Thursday, October 19th from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. We will have a mayoral forum discussion, then a break to meet candidates, followed by a city council forum and discussion. We will have refreshments. This will be hosted at the Point Church in, on Wilkinson in Belmont. So it's a place to connect and understand, get to know more deeply what your candidates are campaigning on, what they feel best represents the community, and to make your voice heard to be able to connect and understand what is going on or the future of our community. So ultimately, just in the beginning, this platform was about connection. It is still about connection. After the election, we will go back to interviewing and connecting with other great business owners, capturing their stories and getting to connect you with them personally. It's very inefficient for a business owner to meet with 12,000 people to tell their story. So if you're new, please like, subscribe, follow all the things in whatever platform you're seeing this on. But for right now, we're going to focus in on the elections. What we're doing now in advance of the forum is introducing you to each candidate. So all of the candidates for city council and, of course, for Belmont City Mayor have been invited to introduce themselves here. Of course, they've all been invited to the forum Thursday, October 19th. And now I am honored to introduce you to them in a short 10-minute episode so they get to share their story, why they're running, and connect you with them, but also share their information if you want to connect with them personally to understand or to share your concerns, or to share your ideas or your vision for the community that you represent. Ultimately, all leadership is only a representation of its people in business and government, and we can't do anything about our landscape really at large as a country as much as we can do here locally. You get to meet these candidates. You get to vote for these candidates and get to understand what they're really running on and express your concerns if you have them. So we'll look forward to seeing you Thursday, October 19th. We will be live and live streaming. So if you want to join in person, there's going to be a chance between the forums to actually address or approach each candidate at the same time. We will be live streaming because this is 2023 and there's no reason anything that we're doing can't be live streamed. So we'll be live streaming to you through the Building Belmont YouTube. So subscribe here so you get notified and you're aware when that does come back around. And again, just like you, I am here to connect and grow my family as a citizen, someone that ultimately enjoys connecting people. And anything that I do, my favorite thing is connection. So that is still the purpose here. That will always be the purpose here. And we look forward to connecting you to your future leadership. Enjoy. <music> Hello, my, uh, my name is Barry Flynn, and currently I'm running for Belmont City Council. Um, I'm from Belmont since, been here since 2008, originally from Pennsylvania. Um, my children, they was raised here, went to school here. Um, more or less that um, I worship here locally. And um, a little bit of backstory about myself is I was in the financial in industry um, for about 30 years. And um, recently I moved into the real estate industry. 
Barry, moving here to Belmont, what what about uh, this time led you to stepping into uh, city council or what about Belmont stood out to you that made you want to lead at this level? Belmont is an amazing city. It's growing super quickly. And I wanted to be part of the change. Over the years, I see um, different things happening where when I first got here, I seen that I would see my children's teachers walking in the neighborhoods. I see them at the local grocery stores. And over the last 12, 14 years, it seems like Belmont grew so much and so fast that it's sort of like a disconnect. It's not as small as it used to be, a small town. So with coming with not being a small town, I start seeing where it's economic um, development needs, um, making sure Belmont has a doable process to um, grow um, as other cities, local cities like Charlotte. And also I've seen several things where I'm looking at from a public safety and a human um, need where it's, a, it's some homelessness around here. Um, if you go up by the Highway 85, you might see a homeless um, camp here and there. So there's definitely um, a need there and needs to um, be addressed. And then there's also other little issues where, well, it's not little, but pedestrians um, getting hit recently. That would be something that was on the news. So there are a few um, issues I think I can help out with. I can go ahead and um, pull my experiences from the bank and see what I can do, see if I can help that. The correlation between finance and real estate, I'm already starting to connect some dots in my mind, but what is some of the experience or the value that you see yourself bringing to the role, given your uh, background, your experience? Okay, given my background experience, um, being at the bank for just about 30 years, um, it was basically between several banks, um, three, three or four, and the latest one, well, I'm not sure if I should name them, but um, what, what it taught me is working at, working with different people with different mindsets all throughout the corporation. So it gave me the experience to work with people vertically as well as horizontally up and down. So in this case, vert vertically it might be working with um, other council members. Um, if I'm working um, up and down for, you know, up and down, then it might be working with the mayor or working with county members. So, and not everyone has the same opinions. So when you're working with them, you know, you're cognizant of other people's opinions. Um, you also want to hear them, what they are saying. You want to um, pull from their experiences as well as my own. So working at, you know, at the bank for large corporations for so many years, it really allows me to do a project and complete it. Well, thank you for stepping up to lead and seeing, you know, the opportunity here to support the community through leadership and city council. I'm appreciative that we get to have the opportunity in Thursday, October 19th, to have our candidate forum to discuss key topics and not only discuss them one on one, but really ultimately to discuss them on a platform that allows all of the candidates to have conversation, not only with myself as moderator, but also each other as we see these topics differently. So we have a great variety of background and experience that's coming to the table here. And what I really enjoy at the end of the day is that our community is growing and experiencing good problems that come with that, but also understanding strategically how do we manage that. So thank you for that. And again, stepping up to the plate to want to lead our community in this way. Before uh, Thursday, October 19th, our event, and of course, before the election, where else can people engage with you? Where are you promoting your campaign? Um, So far, I haven't really um, uh, committed to going to several um, community events, but um, if they would like to come out of the house or give me a call, they can feel free to. You want to share your contact information or any social media or anything you're using? Yes. If they want to contact me, they can contact me at 704-685-8255. My email address is b.flynn at att.net. Okay. Well, thank you, Barry. I look forward to continuing our conversation on stage at the forum. And again, now that I've seen you, it's kind of like this in Belmont. Once you see someone once, you see them everywhere. So <laughs> we're running each other at the coffee shop. But thank you for your time today. Okay, thank you.